Hey, how you doing? Misha from Periphery here, and I'm gonna show you some of my guitars today. Uh, I have some stuff that you can get in stores. I have some stuff that you can't get in stores. Starting with this, this is a wonderful, beautiful custom shop, eight string, I guess it'd be an HT8, Juggernaut HT8, with an Evertune bridge. Big fan of the Evertune. I think it's good to have an Evertune in your arsenal, so I've got one with a fixed bridge, which we'll look at in a second. But this uh, right here, it features uh, soap bar, bare knuckle. I think we have Ragnaroks in this one. Where are these juggernauts? I should know. And I think these are Ragnaroks, actually. And um, yeah, you can tell because of the pull pieces, juggernauts would be double. So these are single Caesar Ragnaroks. Sorry, I forget the spec. It's been a little while. And then this is finished in a beautiful uh, fistral blue. It was supposed to be glossy, it came out satin matte. And I actually uh, love the way that this thing looks. It's, it's just a, a phenomenal thing. Look at this, you know, roasted flame maple neck here, because of course we've got to have that. And um, yeah, these, these uh, master builders in the, the custom shop, they do such a great job. Got um, our hip shot locking tuners here. This is a 27 inch scale and it's tuned to F sharp standard. It's got the uh, Horizon Vice's progressive tension set. My, uh, my, my signature set, if you will, the, the Bulb 8 set, which is a 9.5 to 74. This is find a very comfortable, it's kind of a good setup for, for good tension, but not sacrificing tone. This is the main eight string. This thing is just a work of art. I mean, look at this. It's absolutely gorgeous. We have uncovered. I wanted to see the, the, the different sort of looks. As I thought it fit the, uh, the top a little better. So this is an uncovered Ragnarok eight string set. We've got a hip shot fixed bridge here. Uh, exactly same setup electronics. If you're curious about the switching on all of these, this is bridge split inner coil, which I use a lot. Middle, I don't use that very much. Split outer coil, which I actually use. And uh, neck, which, which I use as well. And then this is cool. This is a tone knob that only works when it's pulled up. So I'll, I'll use this in the set as well, because you could quickly just get to actually tone bypass. So it's out of the circuit. You get a little brightness boost out of it. Again, this is another custom shop eight, so you cannot buy this. Maybe if there's enough interest, we could do a production model uh, eight of some kind. Um, finishes like this, 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 this sort of bluish gray fade that's going on here are very time consuming and expensive to do. So that might just be a custom shop only thing. But look at this top, it's just, just flame everywhere. You could burn your hand on this, you know? Um, very similar spec otherwise. One thing that I love doing, all my guitars have this, is the truss rod adjustment right here at the base of the neck. It's just very easy to adjust. You don't need to take any covers off. You could literally give it a little quarter turn in a couple seconds just by putting something in the hole and giving it a little twist. Um, we've got Dunlop dual design strap locks, which I love because you can use reg regular straps, but with the amount of moving around they do on stage, it's nice to have a very secure setup. Moving right along, this is a USA HT7, which I'm using live. This has the juggernauts in it. You can see with the dual uh, pole pieces there. Again, beautiful flame top on this. Electronics are the same. This is just a seven string version. This is tuned to uh, drop A flat. So imagine you just take your seven string, you drop it down a half step, and then you drop the low string down to A flat to make this an octave there. Very fun tuning, very heavy. And uh, other than that, it's very similar. It's the same electronic setup, same everything. This is a production model that you can buy. They're just back ordered into infinity, unfortunately, because these are quite time consuming to make. They feature this extremely thick uh, flame maple cap. I believe it's five eighths of an inch. Um, you can see it even extends uh, into, into the, the neck area there. Um, I don't know why this is, this is, the tour does strange things to guitars, doesn't it? Uh, but this thing is an absolute workhorse. Uh, and it, it was supposed to be one of several guitars I'd used through the set, but I've been so comfortable. Sometimes you just find a guitar that you just gel with and you just don't wanna let it go. So this is kind of mainly my guitar and then the rest have sort of been relegated to backups. Um, if we were to talk about backups, this is a Pro Series model and I use Pro Series models live all the time. The last US tour I was using a bunch of them um, and they're, they're phenomenal guitars. They're like kind of great value for money. Uh, you get a roasted flame, uh, you get a roasted maple neck, non-flame, but you still get all the stability and the feel. I really love the feel of a good roasted neck and, and fretboard on this. 
It's, it's sort of a bare bones version of, of my guitar, but it does such a good job. This has the Jackson MM1 pickups, but these are routed actually, so that the uh, Juggernaut or Ragnarok, the bare knuckle pickups will just slot in very easily. Same electronics setup, same, same everything setup. So I could just pick one of these up and I'm right at home. Uh, and again, I think for the money, it's just very hard to, to, to beat this. It's just such a, these are absolute, absolute workhorses. Uh, this is in neon orange. It will blind you if you're not careful. And let's wrap let's wrap this up with the uh, just an, an old classic, which is the H HT6 with the, the Laguna Blue flame top. Just an absolute looker of a guitar. This thing's got a lot of mojo. I've actually got an exact copy of this that I brought, and they're just phenomenally consistent guitars, which is important because. All of these guitars, uh, bar the custom shop ones, are ones that you could buy in stores. And I don't want my personal guitars to be any different. Anything that you buy in a store, like these would all have gone to stores if they hadn't gone to me first. And it's great to see that they're just consistent and that they're absolute workhorses for the road. So only difference with this is just really the setup and the tuning. It's a six string. I should have mentioned the seven strings are always 26 and a half inch scale. The six strings are 25.5, which is pretty standard super strat scale length. We have this tuned to drop C, C, G, C, F, A, D. So it's kind of like you take standard tuning and you drop that down a full step and then drop this down to be the octave there. And this is strung with, uh, again, Horizon Devices Progressive Tension set. This is the 10 to 58 set, which I just find works wonderfully for uh, drop C. I should have mentioned also the, the seven strings feature the, 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 the heavy seven set, which is a 10 to 65 set. It's just very comfortable sets. I feel like not every string manufacturer makes uh, sort of lower tune sets for people who actually play. So these, these feel very balanced and they sound very good for, for these lower tunings. You still get a lot of attack and spank. Um, but yeah, other than that, like it's, it's pretty much, uh, as you've seen, we have the flame maple Rosa fretboard and uh, the, the, the quarter sun Rosa maple neck on these, which these, these are just so great for changing climates because you can get a relatively thin neck, a very comfortable neck, but very little movement. And, and, and it, what it means is that the, the guitar plays very consistently from show to show, regardless of climate. You know, these, uh, these guitars, um, some of these flew from Los Angeles. So to arrive in Los Angeles where it was relatively warm and we landed in Sweden, which is obviously quite cold, uh, the climates were quite different and the guitars were basically in tune. <laughs> which is pretty cool. So um, these are the things that are kind of important when you're touring with these instruments. But obviously, I use these in the studio as well. They're, they're, they have to be good everywhere. Um, but yeah, that's a, that's a basic rundown of the guitars themselves. <laughs>